hello everyone okay if you're here let's deal with it let us deal with um, this we have b to the power of 2 minus 1 equals b minus 1 okay this minus 1 still to the power of 2 now to solve this it's very simple we can apply difference of two squares here because from here we have b squared minus 1 squared equals b minus 1 both squared or everything squared now we can apply difference of two squares because one squared is the same as one this negative is left out if you put this in bracket and the negative is included then this will end up giving you a positive value so now our difference of two squares will be b minus one into b plus one then on the right hand side we are going to write this in two places because of the square on it so we write b minus one into b my um is minus one okay some students would prefer okay some students would say that since we are you know writing this in two places in two places one should be negative and the other should be positive but that is not correct it means that you have this exact term in two places and that is how you should write it this is not difference of two squares that one will be negative and the other will be positive now let's continue why don't we bring this to the left so if i do that i'll have b minus one into b plus one then this will turn to minus we have b minus one in bracket into b minus one then we equate this to zero okay so what again should i do this term this is one term okay and this is another term but they have b minus one in common so i'm going to pick out b minus one as i factorize then here i have square um open bracket b plus one then minus b minus one is already out so there will be another one open bracket again and write your b minus one then you close this and equate all of this to zero now what do i do from here we have um to open this bracket and if you're going to open the bracket it is this negative that will multiply what you have in the second bracket so we have b minus one then here we're going to have b plus one then negative times b is negative b negative times negative one is positive one then this is equal to zero now we have b minus one then we have here we have b minus b let me write it b minus b then this is plus one then another plus one we equate it i mean we close this and equate to zero now let's get let's get going b minus one is still a factor then here b minus b is gone then we have one plus one which will give two then everything is equal to zero now you can be tempted or you can decide to open this bracket but opening this bracket is not needed you can easily divide this by two and then divide the other side by two so that this can go and zero divided by two we see give zero so we have um b b minus one into two um okay is there, this has already gone so that means we should be having one there and this is equal to zero but one times any number is the same number right so we have b minus one to be equal to zero and our duty now is to take this to the other side which is b equals zero plus one b is now alone and our b is equal to one so this is the value of b but like we always do we verify let's put it back into the equation and see what we are going to have okay so our b is one but the 
equation is b squared minus 1 okay equals b minus 1 squared so if we put 1 here now it's going to be 1 squared minus 1 then on the other hand it's going to be 1 minus 1 and this is squared so 1 squared is 1 minus 1 then 1 minus 1 is 0 and this is square on it 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 squared is 0 okay so this means that this means that b to be equal to 1 satisfies the equation thank you for watching and uh, if you are new to my channel you subscribe so you can get more of my videos thank you and share to your friends and the students around you